We've been told if the U.S. wants to hit its climate goals, turning from gas-powered autos to EVs will be key. So how much will a mass EV adoption end up benefiting the planet? And is mass adoption a reality? Let's start with what it takes to build an EV in the first place. The process creates up to 80% more emissions than building a gas-powered car. It's only after an EV has been driven about 15,000 miles that its carbon footprint begins to match that of a conventional vehicle. That distance is equivalent to driving across the US on Interstate 80 five different times. And when it comes time to retire an EV, that can also take a toll on the environment. The combined carbon outputs of making and deconstructing just one EV is comparable to about 40% of the average American's annual greenhouse gas emissions. The manufacturing process has such a heavy footprint because of the raw materials needed to make an EV. Up to 85% of the total greenhouse gases created by an EV are generated through acquiring resources for their assembly. And most of those come through China, which controls 90% of the electric vehicle supply chain. Beijing's lax environmental standards helping its EV industry dominate the sector. That has made this the most environmentally harmful aspect of these cars. And while EVs do eventually make up for those emissions, once they've been on the road for a while, that may not ultimately be enough to make a dent in a much larger problem. Researchers at the University of Toronto found in order for the US to hit its 2050 climate goals, 90% of the nation's vehicle fleet must be electric. To hit that target, EV advocates say sales of combustion engine vehicles will need to be stopped by as early as 2030. But is that realistic? Analysts with IHS Market believe by 2050, only 60% of US vehicles are going to be EVs, which is significantly higher and other estimates that say only a third of US cars will be EVs by then. The Biden administration is backing legislation that aims to bring the US close to 100 million EVs by 2050. But the ICF Climate Center says that may be less than half of what is needed. Even if the US and other nations saw their EV goals fulfilled in 2050, that alone would still not be sufficient to hit net zero emissions targets.